Hello everyone, Oregon Moto John. Sorry I haven't posted for a little bit. I've been moving and it's just taking a little time. But anyway, um, today I want to talk about tires um, for for the Husky FE350S or for really any other dual sport bike that you got to roll down the pavement um, before you get to the trail. So I've tried a lot of different tires and um, if you're using pavement just to get to gravel roads like this, and then I was on single track today. Um, didn't bring my GoPro today, so I wasn't able to catch that. But these tires are great. They, you would swear you were on a, even though these are DOT approved, DOT approved for the highway, you would never know it. I ran these on my um, KTM 300 TPI as well as my TBI, and they work great. Um, I do run a gummy on my 300 since it's just off-road. But for something you need to go down the highway, I love these golden tires. I just went down some muddy single track, and these have a couple hours on them. Even when they get worn down, they still work well. Um, I think this is the hard intermediate. This is the GT333. And um, comes in that, or this is the 120, 118 size. And they have been great. It's just a good tread pattern. When they're new, they can be a little wandery down the highway. And th these have like, you know, a couple, like two or three hours on them, and I'll, I can get quite a few hours out of these. I've gotten up to about seven, eight hundred miles on them. If you want a tire that lasts a long time, the Tusk D Sport is pretty good. It's harder rubber, seems to self protect knobbies, but when you get off, if it's muddy, then the, the golden tires, if you're going to be in wet and muddy, they excel. So that's why I run them because I'm in the Pacific Northwest. It gets wet and muddy, and then when I go off the pavement, I'm not wishing I had a different set of tires. And so on the front tire, it's the GT216A. AA there. I don't know if this is showing up. Probably not. Let's see if I can catch the other side. Um, there we go. And this is the 909021. I don't like the fatties. They kind of climb out of the out of the groove a little bit. Yeah, this is the 216. AA there, GT216, and the 90, 90, 21 size, and it's a great tread pattern. Again, this is the non-fatty size. I like a narrower tire because it bites better in the front and um, doesn't tend to climb up out of the grooves. If There's a lot of single track muddy grooves up here where I ride, and um, I want it to bite in turn and not try to crawl up out of the groove. And I'm just used to an aero tire, but I could see if you were on the sand or some areas where maybe you wanted a little more float or was really rocky, the fatty would have its place. But I'm just talking about for me, for the kind of riding I do, the narrower front tire is, is what I prefer after trying the fatty a few times. And, um, and the, anyway, these tires are great. Mud, wet. I've had these in rocks and roots when it's really wet. Um, I just went up a really pretty steep hill climb and it was rooted and and actually muddy, it's not muddy here, but up in the, I was up in the mountains, it gets kind of wet up there quick, surprisingly quick, and um, and it, these just hook up. And these aren't even new, they, like you can see, I've got a little wear on them, but even when they wear down, the compound still seems to grip. Um, it's just something, that's all I can say. So, um, they do fine on the pavement. They uh, probably aren't the longest lasting tire, like a Tusk D-Sport, if you're going to have to do a lot of pavement. And it's drier trails, you would do well. But this, if it's wet and muddy, um, you want to go down the pavement a little, still feel like you're running a, a non-DOT tire, even though these are DOT approved. These always feel like true knobbies to me. And a bunch of my buddies run them and have been surprised as well. So I know they aren't cheap, but man, they're great tires. So... Um, the stock tires on the FE350S, I, I thought they were okay, but for the Pacific Northwest and the mud and the grime, it, it just wasn't enough traction. So I, I tried a bunch of different tires, and this is what, what is my favorite. Somebody asked me what my favorite tire was, and golden tires. They, they'll do it all. But if you're going to do a lot of pavement, then I might, I might lean towards a different, harder tire with narrower space knobbies that would self-protect better. But most of us guys who buy a 350... You know, we want to go off-road with it. We're not buying it to burn miles and miles and miles down the pavement. We just want to do enough pavement to, to get to where we're going. Um, still loving the 
Husky 350. Great bike, no issues. And um, if you guys have some other tires you like, put them in the comments. We're all here to help each other out. And, you know, what a great day. Get out there and ride. Life is good. Thanks for watching. Appreciate you all. And um, hope, hope you're doing well. Take care. Oh, just a little footnote. This rear tire, you know, does have kind of a higher profile. So um, it does raise the back of your bike up a little bit. So th there'll be that. Um, I didn't readjust my suspension or anything, but just be aware of it. These are easy tires to mount. I, I mount my own tires, dirt tires, and these, they're so soft and pliable. I mean, I always look forward to putting these on because they, they couldn't be easier to mount yourself. So if that's something you do... That's a huge plus for me. Um, I run these at like 23 in the front. Um, and, you know, about the same in the back because I'm taking them down the pavement. Um, if I were on a, if I, when I run them on my dirt bike, I do like 12 in the front and then I do like 10 in the back. They're soft enough rubber. I, I don't think you really need to go less than 10 or else the, I think the crown starts to pucker in. Like this part will actually kind of collapse in, but uh, for a dual sport application, I like to keep my pressures up so I don't get a pinch flat. Or when I'm going down the highway, too, that they don't um, squirm around. Um, so, I just want to talk about how easy they were to to mount up. Um, you can spoon those on very, very easily because they're such soft rubber. So, um, great tires. I'll be running these for years to come. And I know they're not cheap, but they do work and that's that's worth something. So here I am back at the house. Um, I just wanted to mention I do run heavy duty tubes when you swap your upgrade your tires. Put some you know Michelin heavy duty tubes in there or um, another heavy duty tube of your choice. There's lots to pick from. Um, those are worth their weight in gold. I've had one time I had a tire pierced, a nail, and it and the heavy duty tube deflected it. I rode home and I noticed when I was washing my bike there was a nail sticking out of it. So put some heavy duty tubes in there. And then um, completely separate, but my favorite dirt bike tire, not for on-road, these aren't DOT approved, is the Bridgestone um, X31. I love that tire. And then I'm running a gum, it's nice and narrow and it bites. And then I'm running a um, Geomac, Dunlop Geomax AT81EX. That's the gummy, not the regular AT81. And it's been good. This has a lot of miles on it and it's really gummy. Not a long lasting tire, but for, um, you know, on the trails. I mean, look at this, at the knobby test here, titty twister test, knobby twister. I mean, that thing is soft <laughs> compared to like, like this. I mean, that's still twists, but nothing like that, that gummy. But anyway, that's kind of what I'm, what I'm running on, on that. But for a dual sport tire, you have to run on the pavement. Can't go wrong with the um, golden tire. So hope this helps.